on this which is my everyday vampire inspired look and what I mean by that is I don't wear this every single day but these eyes I have been wearing for the last couple of days and they're kind of like your deep plum kind of eyes but since my last makeup tutorial I have been wearing more reds on my lip and I have been kind of liking it Okay, so I've already done this eye here to speed it up a little bit, so we're going to be working on this eye. And the first thing you want to do is apply a base. So I'm going to be using my NYX eyeshadow base, which is the eyeshadow base I basically use every single day. I love it. And I'm just going to use a brush, and we're going to apply this all over our eyelid up to our brow bone. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is taking this eyeshadow colour right here and I'll have a close-up of it as well on my brush and we're just gonna apply this we're just gonna pat it on in the outer part of our eye so we've got the middle of our eyelid and we're just doing the outer half don't worry about blending yet we'll go over that in a moment now I'm taking this pink color right here as well and we're just gonna pat that in the middle of our eye and then dust off our brush and then I'm going to be taking this purple right here and we're just going to go over where the crease is on the outer half and I know this is looking really weird but now I'm just going to take a brush and we're just going to blend this all into each other Okay, and now I'm just taking this deep colour and I'm just going to get a little bit of that and just go in the right in the outer corner and blend this in. And now I'm taking one of my favourite colours which is this maroon colour right here and we're going to go over this outer part very lightly, tap it on sort of like a C shape here. Then I'm getting all the excess off my brush and I'm going to blend that all in. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline um, Eye Studio Gel Liner, which I bought just a couple of days ago. I posted a photo on Instagram when I bought it. And this is in Eggplant, so it is this nice, deep, purpley kind of colour. So I'm just getting this on a clean, angled brush. Now I'm just going to do a really thin line up in my upper lash line, so you want to do it as close to lashes as possible. And I don't want it too dark on the upper one, so I'm not going to do it too thick or too dark. I'm not going to go over it multiple times because it's only a subtle line. And then I'm going to go where my lashes are. If you're wondering why I'm looking down as well, I've got my mirror down here. And we're just going to take it along the bottom of our lash line. And just kind of dab where your eyelashes start. And I don't know if you guys can tell how much just that little bit of purple eye liner really brings out green eyes. Like my eyes just turn like really green then. I'm going to go ahead and take this purple eyeshadow right here. It's nice and the bright one. And we're just going to go over that line down the bottom. And now we're just going to curl our eyelashes and add mascara. to my top eyelashes and now I'm going to be using my Napoleon Purtis um, primer. It's the brightening one in the purple tube. Um, I did get this a little while ago and I'm just going to be using products that I have been using lately. I just get this and apply it and just blend it in with my hands. I haven't really been wowed by this primer yet. Um, if you've ever used this primer let me know what your thoughts are because I just think it's about an average primer. I don't think it's anything you know, extraordinary. And then lately I have been using my Napoleon Purtis um, stick foundation and it's this one here. I bought this um, about maybe a month ago. It's in uh, Look 2B. And 
so with this foundation, I do find that it's really, you've got to make sure you really moisturize beforehand, otherwise it'll stick to any dry spots, which is never a good look. So you've got to make sure it's really moisturized beforehand and you primed it well as well. But I really do love the coverage and the coloring is like perfect for me with this foundation. Okay, and now over the top of that, I'm just going to use my pressed powder here. If you want to see a more in-depth foundation routine that goes through all the steps I do and everything, I will link that down below. And also I'll link down below my contouring and highlighting video as well if you want to add that to it as well. I'm using this blush right here. Okay, so you can leave your look like this with um, nothing on your lips basically. You just have like a natural lip, just put a little bit of lip balm on. But what I'm going to do, and this is completely optional, is I'm going to add a really dark lip. So I'm going to use this lip liner here, and all the products will be linked in the but bar below if you wanted to know what I was using. Okay, and now I can just take my hair out. Fringe is not behaving, but this here is the finished look. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I hope you like this makeup. It is a bit different, you know, you've got the deep eyes and the deep lip. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and then leave a comment below telling me what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!